Hey, here I am, eight times. I'm going to do a little video. You get to watch me, all of me, all of me's, all at one time. I'm doing, uh, I'm getting ready to do a new project on, and it's going to be a CNC project where I have a sort of uh, gimbal two axis um, apparatus for aiming. I'll start out aiming a laser, but I'd like to use a, um, put a, what do you call those? An airsoft on it, uh, a little airsoft pistol to see if we can it, it pick out targets and shoot. So I just started experimenting. I'm using Python and um, OpenCV, which is a great um, application. It, it's a package. It's got a lot of utilities in it, and I've started experimenting with motion capture and targeting. Okay, so I just want to go through the process and give you an idea of how I'm doing it okay so first frame right here this is the raw video coming in now you've got that it's got RGB values in it and I don't want to deal with that big of a of, a, of an image I mean because you got three bytes for each one of those right so the first thing I do is go to this frame 2 as I'm creating uh, changing it to grayscale and grayscale only has one byte per um, pixel okay so you cut it to a third of the size all right the next thing is a frame blur so I'm blurring it out because you know when you if you go from one frame to the next so this you know uh, images or videos are made up of frames so when you move from one frame to the next even if it's identical your edges can move the pixels can change right on the edges of things so blurring it is supposed to uh, make it you know uh, it makes the edges smoother so that you don't notice the change as much okay so that that's the next step I'll, I'll put all this code I'll put it in the comments okay the code that I'm using to run this alright okay and then here's the real cool thing so this frame 3 the Delta so once you go to grayscale so for every pixel you just have a value between 0 and 255 right so 0 is black 255 is is completely white okay so what I'm doing is I'm recording a frame and then I'm looking at the next frame and I'm comparing those two value or the every value in there there's a function for this it's really fast too is that I'm comparing every pixel and I'm getting the absolute dist uh, the absolute difference right which is the delta value okay and what that sh does then is it shows you only the parts that are changing okay so as I move my hand across here that's the, the part that you can see in frame 3 is are the pixels that changed between frames okay so just the pixels that change between frames so that's pretty cool you just are subtracting so if you have one, one value the first time and then you get a different value if it's the same value it's going to be black because the same value value minus value is zero which is going to be black if the values have changed then the absolute difference uh, absolute value of the difference is what you're going to get and it's going to show up a little bit gray to white okay so as I move around in there you can see the part that's moving so that's the what one two three fourth step okay the next step is down here in frame four the threshold so we take that delta frame and anytime there's a value I think right now if the value is over 15 it goes to 255 so it becomes white if it's 15 or below then it goes to zero okay hey my battery's full nice notification okay if it goes if it's 15 or below then it goes to to zero so it changes everything from black to white and that's what you're seeing in this frame so if I don't move you don't see anything but as soon as I move move then all of those gray scale things that we got from the delta or from the difference whatever you want to call it they all of a sudden become just black or white okay 
And then the next step here in frame five is I'm kind of blobbing all that stuff together. So this is called dilation. So basically it takes whatever item, you know, whatever shape there is and it expands it out a little bit. Now of course there's values associated with each of these and you can change those values. So I can blob this thing out a lot or blob it out a little. Okay. So again, this is a function in OpenCV. Great software. All right, and then uh, moving on to frame six is the contour. So the red shapes that you see when I move, when I move my hand like this, those are the contours. Okay, and basically it's the shapes. So we're looking, look back at frame five. You see all those blobs? Basically, a contour is, is a shape built around a blob where everything's the same color or the same shade. In this case we only have black and white so it's really easy to pick out these contours. Okay, So that's what's happening in there. Now I got the contours and then I have calculated the centroid of the contour. This is like the middle mass part and so the red is the contour. Let me move. I got to keep moving back and forth. This looks ridiculous I know but okay. The red is the contour and the red dot is the centroid or middle mass or middle area portion of the of the contour and then the green is I'm just drawing a box around the contour so the the green see it just makes a rectangle around there all right see that and then the center of the rectangle is represented by the green point all right all right and then the final screen seven which is a bit disconcerting to see a bullseye on my face okay what I'm doing is I'm taking the center of the green square oh I forgot to say on these contours you know uh, this is frame six again on these contours you can figure out what the uh, you, there's a function to get the volume or the area of these things and then you can say well I don't want to mess with contours that are smaller so let me see if I can just do well no yeah okay so you see the white showing up sometimes the white shows up over there in frame 4 it's not showing up as a contour it's because the movement doesn't represent a big enough area again that's a threshold level that you can set you know if you want to make it sensitive or less sensitive okay so I'm taking these big contour areas okay they're five, they have an area of more than 500 pixels and then I'm coming over here I'm taking all of them and I'm getting a mean value of the locations really see all those green dots I'm getting the average value of those green dots and I'm just saying hey that's my target location and I'm putting this target on there you see that all right so that's the basics of motion detection and getting a target now this is a really simple you know there's more complex ways to do it but this is a simple thing I think it'll run on <clears throat> a pretty small processor I'm running on my laptop right now just using my laptop camera but, you know things so that's why I'm kind of looking at but okay so let me let me just step back okay so let's see if I walk by now watch frame we're looking at frame seven does it target me? Yeah, see, there it's got me pretty much center mass, right? See, with all that crazy stuff on frame six, it's still getting me, right? So, I don't know. I mean, I need, maybe I need to make a ping pong gun or something to keep the dogs off the front porch. All right, it's pretty. All right, let me just. Look at that. See that? That's pretty cool. Picks it right up. Fairly sensitive too. I mean, I, I've tried to dumb it down a little bit, but see, look. Okay. Don't blink. Wait, I'm not on the camera. I blink. Shoots me between the eyes. Bam! Oh! Okay. So that's how I am. Now I can make this a lot more sensitive. 
I can make it a lot less sensitive. I'm just getting started with this, just starting to experiment with it, and I haven't built any mechanism to, to use this. But that's going to be the next thing, is building the mechanism that uh, uses this to aim. Pick something out, aim at it, shoot a laser at it, maybe shoot an airsoft gun, maybe some kind of ping pong gun, I don't know, I've got to find something I can do in an automated fashion, so an automated way. So there you go. See you later from all eight of me. Goodbye. Oh yeah, code below, right? Okay, cool. Let me turn this thing off. How do we turn this off? There we go.